purchased something that I didn't really want, but I wanted something else, but I'll tell you why in a minute. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bills' YouTube channel. Well, I ordered a Holly uh, Sniper intake. I did. It wasn't the one I wanted though. I wanted the 105 millimeter and I ended up having to get the 102 millimeter friggin' one. I don't understand why there's such a big difference in price on these things. The 102 is like, well, my cost is different. It's like, I don't know, 100, 200 bucks or something, 250 say. And the 105 millimeter is 800 or 600. 600 probably, something like that. So my question is, why such a difference in price between the two? I searched on the internet and they both have low idle or low RPM circuits and stuff like this. They're both streetable and this, that, and the other things. I don't understand the price differences, but maybe you can and you maybe you leave a comment down below. But I'll show it to you. It doesn't come with anything, by the way. So it comes with four screws and it comes with a throttle body. There's a throttle body there, which is a very nice looking unit, but it doesn't come with the idler circuit or the um, oh, TP sensor. Yeah, TP sensor or something like that. So I had ordered them separate. I didn't come with the gaskets, of course. That's another 100 bucks, say, 115 bucks. Once I get this done, I'll tell you right now, boys, girls, peoples, she'll be pumping some airage. Friggin' right. So that will fit on my intake, not my stock intake, but it will fit on my intake. Video would come soon, so stick around for that. But I want to pop on here right now and just show you my Holly Sniper EFI throttle body that come in the mail. There it is. Jeez, it's part number 86005-1. Got him. Black. The dash two is, I think, aluminum. So there you go. She's a beautiful looking little unit she is. So, like I said, probably a little bit more airflow than I need. But hey, it says it's streetable. So if it's streetable, it's streetable. It's a street damn thing. Why wouldn't we? Oh, that's what I wanted to do with his. I wanted to measure my old head gasket and see what thickness it was so I know what thickness to get. And how come you're friggin' dead already? What is really going on? Just cocked over. So here's my head gasket. And we're gonna get out my trusty that I don't know how to use, but we're gonna get it out anyway. And maybe uh, you can tell me I did it all wrong. Because I like it when you guys tell me I did everything wrong. Well, good night. So we'll zero this bad boy out. Zero, see? So now we'll take the head gasket and we'll give her a little tech. So these ones, it's saying 55 thou. Wow, that's a thick gasket, Captain. I don't think they make a 55 thou. Yeah, like 55 thou. Maybe 50 if you really push on it. So say it's around 50 and I want to drop to a 40. Yeah, it's saying it's about 58. So it's a 58, they make a 58. So there you go, that's a 58 thickness, point, point 0.58. So I'm gonna drop to a point four zero, which should bump my compression up a little bit. So that's pretty good to know. What are these? Let's check these ones. This is Trevor's gasket that he told me to get, and I wanna see how thick it is. But this one's got like four different layers on it. Oh yeah, this one's thicker than dicks. So there you go, that one's a 70, 75 thou on that one. What does it say on the thing? Let's see if I'm close. No, oh, it's ripped off. I can't even tell you, it's ripped right off. It says there's a point, Seven seven, right there. Seven seven, yeah, seven seven. So that's a seven point seven seven thou gasket. That's a friggin' thick gasket. But that's also off of uh, L or LQ nine. Yeah, LQ nine, I think, or LS nine, or whatever you want to say. But that's that gasket's way too thick for mine. I already have nine and a half to one compression. So I think we're gonna order up. I'm pretty sure this cam still gives me enough room that I can order up the point four zero gasket. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you're doing an LS build and what gasket you put in yours. These are the 317 heads with the slight dish piston. If you have the same setup, let me know what you put in for gaskets. I really want to know. Leave a comment down below, please. Subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button too. Friggin' right, you better. This weekend, what I'm planning on doing is sticking them, sticking them back on, getting some Play-Doh in there, snug her down, do the Play-Doh test just to make sure it go with the smaller head gasket. And then we're going to button the heads up. Uh, rockers tightened up because my next thing coming I want to put on and I can't put it on until that's done. So we got to get that done, buttoned up, and then we can roll her over and we'll put the oil pan back on. And then we'll 
do this, that, and the other freaking thing. But I should oil it. It's been about a week. So let's get some oil into this thing. Just, just put a little bit of oil in there. Okay? Not much, just a little. Just to keep it lubed. I know this is probably making a mess because it's gonna go right down onto the ground, but I don't care. It is what it is, it is. I care, you know? Ah, oh, Jesus. There we go. A little bit of oil goes a long way in this. Freaking right it does. Should get up decent. We see if the hell's squeaking on it too. Even though I'm not gonna be driving it for a while. But hey, it is what it is. We gotta get this training off the ground. If Trevor friggin' R would ever hurry up engine hoist, I could get that off the ground. You hear that, Trevor? Frank, what's really going on? God. Oh well, can't rush a good thing. Oh well, y'all hook just this once. I should paint the bolts too. I can do that too. Forget to have this thing back together in two hours, but I really don't want to because I don't have the other stuff yet. Gonna put these exhaust fan folds on. Oh, they turned out good. Haven't touched them since I painted them. I think the paint will be dried out, Captain. That's, a, that's another thing I'd love to get is freaking headers instead of these stupid things. But hey, it is what it is. But hopefully they go on like this. Freaking right, they will. Hey, I know that's backwards, but that's how they're gonna have to go because I'm running a turbo remember. So they're gonna have to go on backwards. Put them on back and face the board. That way you can run the turbo stuff. Where did this one go? Oh, it goes down too, so this is gonna be real awesome. Because if they both go down, that means I can do a crossover pipe really easy. Oh, Trev. Yep, they both go down. So the crossover pipe will be a piece of cake. Oh, she's gonna be a cakewalk, Jim. We can tell you weld that thing up. I should say we can tell Trev weld that thing up. But that's where I'm sitting right now. I do have parts trickling in and this and that and the other thing. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell bar button. You're going to see more to come, Yar. It's going to be a constant stream of things coming. Decent. Freaking right, it's decent. So hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. This is what I'm doing Friday. It's just kind of gandering. Freaking right. So love you all. And until next time, you know what to do for now. <laughs>